What is up guys, me like here. Today we are back in action playing Feed the Beast Departed and it's gonna be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure to go and click the like button. It really help me out. I love your faces tremendously. So we are going to be working on our automated flower thing. This will this should uh, be really quick. It's a super easy setup. And uh, I've actually built this little thing to put the flowers down in. And as uh, you see, I just now finished building because the dirt hasn't even spread yet. And uh, it's going to be freaking awesome. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to put down... Uh, I do not want to use... Well, I guess I could use the Terra Shatter. Uh, because with, in this mode, it only kills one block. Now this guy, I've had this on the actual uh, mana thing over there for like two days now. And uh, this is as much as we got. So uh, pretty much it emptied out all of the um, the mana spread or the mana pools over there. And then we were just getting the mana that was coming in. So yeah, it wasn't all that much. I plan on doubling the amount of hydrangeas that we actually have. So let's stick this guy down here, the floating uh, Amtheranthus here. Boom. And hopefully, yep, it's still getting mana. The reach is far enough. Now this does act actually go out, I think, four. So we are... Uh, we are not utilizing the space perfectly, but, uh, you know, this whole 7x7 seven seven area will work out fine. Now, I want to also, uh, we want to make a few things here. Uh, first of all, we want to make a vacuum hopper. I forget, is this how you make this guy? Something like this? Um, uh, <laughs> how do you make a vacuum hopper? I can't remember. Vacuum hopper. It, oh, it's a eye of ender. Okay, uh, let me, let me grab all this stuff and then let's, um, really, I, I need to, I need to get out of here. Um, there we go. Okay, so we need a Eye of Ender, which means we need a Blaze Rod, which means I have a Blaze Rod or Blaze Powder right there. Uh, that's what I meant was Blaze Powder. So let's go ahead and make the Vacuum Hopper. Boom, boom, and then let's see, what else? Uh, and then boom, oh yeah, so it's shapeless, that's pretty awesome. Now, I want to make this chest into an Iron Chest. Eventually, we'll turn this into like a Diamond Chest. Um, also, I need to change like all these to iron chests and then eventually gold chests and diamond chests. Uh, but unfortunately, we have like very little gold. I need to go mining. Actually, we might start on buildcraft soon. That would be freaking awesome. So, let me go ahead and I'm going to stick this guy right here. And then we're just going to say uh, output items out the top. And we're just going to stick the iron chest right here in the middle. So, this should be able to cover the entire area. At least I hope it does. Uh, okay, so the next thing I want to make is a drum of the wild. Let's see, drum of the wild. Uh, this guy uproots any plants nearby by use, utilizing uh, mana. So we just need living wood, the horn of the wild, which is this living wood in the pasture seed. I think I have everything I need. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's see, boom. And then boom, yep. Now watch this. Watch this, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it does is it just like uproots any plants now the drum of the wild is just like a Automated version of this. So let's go ahead and uh, drum of the wild boom And then what don't I have I th guess maybe the oh, yeah, because that doesn't stack it doesn't actually work boom Okay, so we have a drum of the wild now if we, we can stick this guy Anywhere we want right here is fine now. You can't actually right-click I don't think you can't like right-click or left-click it It has to receive a mana burst so we're gonna have to actually send a mana burst over here uh, so we're going to turn a mana spreader into a uh, redstone mana spreader. Let me go ahead and grab uh, some stuff here. We need a stick. Uh, let's go ahead and make a stick. Boom. Okay, we need one of these guys. And then we need a piece of cobble. Where is this guy at? Boom. And then we'll just go ahead and make this into a lever. Awesome. Okay, so I haven't actually really thought about how, to, how I'm going to do this. Should I just make like another mana spreader? So yeah, maybe I should just make another mana spreader. And uh, we'll just use the mana from that. But yeah, that might be wasting mana when we already have mana. Um, You know what? Whatever. We'll make a You know what we'll do? We'll actually keep it as a diluted mana pool. That way it doesn't use uh, that much mana. But where are we going to stick it? Hmm. So this is actually three away. And then, okay, looks like we're not going to get any sort of symmetry here. Uh, I'll just stick it right there. Boom. That's fine. And then we're going to stick this guy right there. And then can I, can you stick a lever just directly on the back of this? Or does it have to receive a redstone signal through a block? If it needs to receive it, yeah, it probably has to receive it through a block. So we need a special block. You'll, we'll grab one of these guys. Boom. Grab the andesite. It's kind of the theme of our whole build here. And we'll just do a little bit of this action. So let's go ahead and actually grab our wand here. Where's, oh, our wand's in our inventory, of course. Uh, I, I knew that. I was testing you guys to test your skills. 
Okay, so now this guy... Oh, yeah, we need a spark as well. We need to actually make uh, this a... No, normal spark works. Normal spark. So let's just go ahead and do this. And now this should fill up with mana at some point eventually. Maybe, possibly. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to turn this into a dominant spark. Do we have any dominant things left? Uh, let's see. How do you make a dominant spark? I always forget how to do this stuff. Let's see, dominant. I know it requires pixie dust. So Pixie Dust, Mana Steel, and Rune of Fire. We have actually all three of those. Pixie Dust and... Was it, did it say Mana? Yeah, Mana Steel. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and turn this into a Dominant Spark. And then can I access this anywhere? Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's break this guy and then this will come down there. The Dominant Spark, so it should now fill up with Mana at a certain point. Is this, is this going to fill up with Mana? Why you know? Why you know? Fill up with mana, man. Like I need you to do your job and fill up with mana. Are you gonna work? You'll work eventually. Uh, we just don't have any mana to spare, I guess. So let's go ahead and do this and do this. And I would show you guys, but of course we don't have any mana. So I'll wait till we get some mana, then we'll actually look at it. Okay, so we have a little bit of mana. I just removed the dominant from this, so they'd all travel over here. Uh, so let's check this out. So we have a full thing of flowers right here. So boom. It's gonna send a thing and then look at that look yeah awesome look at that as, so, as so long as it's receiving a uh, receiving a continual burst it'll pretty much last forever now I don't know how much mana this is actually gonna use this mana pool is completely filled looks like it doesn't use that much actually um, so we could technically wait oh it's a it's a uh, it's a burst so I guess we'd have to send a redstone like signal like through a clock or something into this and we don't have any sort of thing like that do we let's look up redstone paste does redstone paste have any sort of timer? Let's see, paste? No, it doesn't have a timer. So we'd have to actually make an old fashioned clock, maybe using hoppers or something like that. But anyways, this is fine for now. I can just be like, boom, done. Gets all the flowers that we need, uh, which is freaking awesome. Okay, so I kind of want to, ah, whoa, what is this? Hey, get away from me, dude. Uh, you need, uh, you need to, this is my area. You are not permitted into the meat area. Um, this is where I uh, dwell. Uh, anyways, I want to make some coke oven stuff. Uh, so we need actually 27 of these uh, guys because it's a 3x3x3, three by three by three, which is 27 blocks. Uh, so we want 27. I have uh, not 27, so I need to go get a little bit more clay. Also, uh, in searching around in villages, sometimes you find these rail craft things. And I actually have a bunch of these. Uh, come here. Let's uh, look right here. Um, I have a bunch of stuff from like the little, little rail craft buildings that spawn in uh, villages or whatever. And uh, I have like several rolling machines and some hobbyist steam engines. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that today as well. Let's come up here. For now, I think I'm just going to maybe... Uh, I don't know where I'm going to stick this stuff. I need to actually build like a uh, dedicated area for all this kind of stuff. But maybe we will just stick it like <laughs> like right here. Maybe, maybe I'll get rid of all these guys and we'll just like stick it right here. Possibly. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead. I'm going to put this guy like right here. We're just going to go ahead and start building it. Uh, boom. And then uh, we'll put the blast furnace on the other side. And then we'll have like a cool little uh, symmetrical thing going on. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three. And look, this guy is like the perfect size. Awesome. Um, is this? Nope, it's not the perfect size. Uh, I was wrong. Okay, so I went and got some clay and we're smelting it down to bricks So I'm gonna go ahead and make some more of these coke oven things. Let's go ahead and get oh no That was not the recipe. This is the recipe. So we need three more of these Yeah, we need three and we have some leftover bricks so we can use that on some other stuff Let's go ahead and stick this guy right here and this should uh, Form into a coke oven. I thought maybe it has to be hollow on the inside. Maybe yeah, I think it has to be hollow in, on the inside. I don't know if it still needs the block on top or not, but let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah, there we go. We have a Coke oven now. Uh, it's been a very long time since I made one of these. Um, <laughs> it's been a very long time. Uh, so I think how it works is you just stick coal in here, and then this turns into coal coke, and you get creosote oil as a byproduct. We can actually use creosote oil to make, like, uh, rail ties and a bunch of other cool stuff and this guy is really slow so it's going to take him a while to kind of do his thing uh which is completely fine that's fine if, if he's slow it's no big deal uh but yeah we got a coke, coke oven so let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and set these guys just anywhere really it doesn't really matter where we put it for right now it's just going to be a temporary spot so you know like right here is fine probably so let's do this now this is a rolling machine it actually takes um 
different types of things. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Like, let's look up plate here. Uh, it takes different type of, like, ingots and turns them into plates. Uh, why, why can I no find you? Uh, what, uh it... Yeah, iron plate. So, like, there's an iron plate right here. So, to make the end, you can make tin plates and all kinds of stuff. And different recipes actually require different amount of, uh, you know, different types of plates and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and relook up uh, Railcraft here. Um, like, for example, if I want to make um, the Rock Crusher. Uh, no, not the Rock Crusher. Uh, that was a bad example. If I want to make uh, <laughs> this guy, this requires steel plates. Uh, so you can make steel plates. You can also make uh, tin plates and other stuff. But we want to go ahead and get into making steel. Maybe not this episode, but very, very soon. So let's stick some water in here. I'm going to put two in each. Now these guys can explode. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost 100%. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm almost 100% positive these guys can explode and they're gonna blow some stuff up if they do so uh, they, it, it would be bad um, So let me grab let's see let's grab another stack of coal here and then steam engines just pretty much run on steam So you put water and coal in them and they produce power uh, which is really sick. There we go. Now we're gonna need a couple levers here Let's do put a lever there a lever there and then I think once we activate them they start producing power? Yeah, they start producing power like this. Awesome. Uh, and the power is going to go into the rolling machine and we can start making stuff. So I guess first things first is uh, let's make some iron plates. Uh, are you, are you, are you, are you going to, are you going to work, man? Uh, do you not have RF? Uh, why does Railcraft not make RF? Why doesn't it make RF? Okay, yeah, it may, it may, just ignore that. It makes RF. It makes RF. Um, it, it was just these things had to like heat up or something first. Uh, yeah <laughs> So yeah, they're making RF uh, they're doing their thing and eventually we can put like coal coke and stuff in this Also, you can make better engines. This is just the hobbyist engines that I found in villages But we can make commercial engines industrial engines and they produce more and more steam But they're harder to make like the industrial engine requires steel gears and steel plates So we need a blast furnace first this guy requires iron plates and that kind of stuff. So yeah um, Also, like I said, we want to make a rock crusher So we need blocks of steel which means we need this guy which means we need a bunch of nether brick uh, and soul sand I can make the slime easy and actually we have plenty of soul sand uh, I think anyways, but I can make the slime easy and we can have like unlimited blaze powder from our little mob farm over here um, So yeah, I need to go hunting and searching for this stuff I guess and uh, I I will be right back You know the nether is so much more of a safe place now that I don't have to worry about dying in a fiery hell pit um, It's it's really comforting. You know, I can fall into lava. I don't have to worry about it I can mine this stuff and all the enemies can shoot their flaming arrows at me, and I don't have to worry about it. And it's it's beautiful. Now watch this. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna jump in the lava. Watch this. I'm just gonna we lava jump, and now I can swim in it. That's awesome. I have a neat trick to show you guys. So let's say for example you need Railcraft tin, but you only have Tinker's tin. Uh, you can actually use barrels to ore convert. So all you gotta do is stick the ingot that you actually want in there, and then take uh, the other type of tin ingot or whatever other type of ingot you're trying to do, and just right click, and there you go. You can ore convert using barrels uh, for you know types of ingots and stuff. Uh, that actually works in pretty much any mod pack you play. Um, and it, it comes with handy like a lot actually. Um, so I have the slime balls. I have the nether brick I have the soul sand next up. We need uh, This stuff so let's go ahead and grab everything. I'll go ahead and convert some of this into stuff It's oh no not my arrows and then let's go ahead and turn convert this into uh, magma cream awesome and then oh okay that that works as well and let's go ahead and start making some steel stuff so uh, or what what's it called a uh, blast furnace there we go um, and we need let's see a three by four by three so that is 36 blocks uh, minus the two in the center so 34 blocks so we need uh, the, oh, that okay that works yeah that's a thing um, I got way too much resources that I didn't I didn't need this much, but you know, it's it's fine It's fine. I'm not angry that I spent a whole five minutes in the nether getting this stuff. It's no big deal um, <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and make the blast furnace now eventually we'll move this and they'll have its own area 
and this blast furnace will uh, uh, be like we'll have multiple blast furnaces so it'll be really cool we'll have mo multiple of everything and it will be really cool so and of course this is now like blocking my stairs so this isn't really the best place to kind of do this stuff but I want to start building all my build craft and real craft stuff downstairs uh, off off into maybe some rooms off of the actual portal room there I think that would be really cool uh, so let's go ahead and build this guy boom boom and then I think this is how it works right and then we should just be able to do something like that and there we go we formed up into a blast furnace now a blast furnace turns normal uh stuff normal iron so to speak into steel uh so i normally there's in other mods you have to add like different stuff to actually make this but railcraft is pretty simple you just have to have iron and then i think it's any sort of coal i'm not sure if uh, coal works or if it has to be coal coke or what but let's uh let's try normal coal real quick i'm just gonna stick normal coal in here and we're gonna test it out like i said i haven't done this sort of thing in a long time what about coal coke okay so it has to be coal coke okay awesome uh, just curious so these guys you have to kind of build this guy first before you build this guy because you're gonna need the coal coke you get from this uh, to actually uh, start making your still um, so we'll see the still it still takes a while uh, it'll take a, a lot of time and also look we have some creosote oil now if I'm not mistaken I thought creosote um, could actually be used as fuel for engines like in build craft in or in uh, yeah build craft engines or something But I don't see any like uses for this for engines So maybe that's not a NAI plugin since there's no tech mods in this or whatever I'm not sure but comment down below if you if creosote oil can actually be used to power engines because I might actually do that make a big creosote factory or something um, if that's possible anyways now another really useful thing I want to start getting to into is rail craft tanks uh, and also, how do you make tin plates? I tried to use tin and railcraft tin, but I couldn't. So maybe there's like a special way to do this. Uh, I wonder if copper, at, I figure iron would still work, but I wonder if copper actually works. Is copper actually used for anything? It makes a flux transformer. Converts redstone flux to railcraft charge. Okay, that's actually really useful. Um, that's really cool. Uh, anyways, uh, I want to know, oh yeah, what I was saying is uh, something really useful in railcraft is uh, another thing besides all the stuff I talked about is railcraft tanks. Uh, now I actually don't see the tank blocks in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we have strengthened glass, and then we should see the 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 tank blocks here somewhere. Uh, let's see, block of tin. I don't know. Oh yeah, here they are. Uh, iron tank valve, uh, steel tank wall, uh, that kind of stuff. Anyways, to make all this, it requires steel tank wall block, steel tank wall. Uh, yeah, this all requires stuff made from uh, this guy right here, and they're pretty much huge multi-block like tanks that hold massive amount of liquid. So what I was thinking is we'd have a room, have a huge tank filled with maybe lava, water, creosote oil, maybe oil and fuel, and like have you know the five different tanks for all of our essential stuff, and uh, you kind of like start using railcraft tanks again. I haven't used railcraft tanks in a long time. Um, also, uh, tell me what you guys think about the introduction to Railcraft and Buildcraft right now. I know these mods aren't actually part of uh, Feed the Beast Departed, so I don't know how you feel about it. But I wanted to get into some basic automation and start doing our thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. We accomplished a lot. We made the blast furnace, the the this guy, the coke oven. Uh, we automated some of our Batania flowers, and we started using the rolling machine. So I think it was very successful. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Love y'all's faces, and I'll see you guys in the next one.